and President Francois Hollande has hailed France's military intervention in Mali as a success. The Malayan army has made big advances against Islamist insurgents, all with the assistance of French troops. But the victory may not be as clear-cut as it seems. Let's now get the details from RT's Tom Barton. He joins us in the studio. So, Tom, how has the campaign unfolded over the past two and a half weeks uh, or so? Are they facing serious resistance here? Well, Anissa, it seems no. They're, they're not. They haven't really faced uh, very much resistance at all. So the campaign uh, starts with French troops uh, about two and a half weeks ago sweeping up from the centre of the country up to where these, uh, these uh, Islamist-held uh, areas, meeting very little resistance, really. Um, they, are, they go on. There was a, an incident here in uh, Kona where, in fact, uh, a, a French helicopter strike killed some civilians. Uh, apart from that, though, uh, the French have been welcomed um, with, with street parties uh, and uh, crowds coming out to greet the convoys as they arrived in each uh, of these towns. The Islamist militants retreating, not wanting to, to stand and fight. Uh, many people thinking that they have been retreating further into the deserts in the north. There's only one town of appreciable size left to capture after the fall of, of Timbuktu, without, with, nearly without a, a shot fired. Um, and then it seems that the next stage of the operation will be uh, to try and hunt out Islamist militants who have gone uh, to hide uh, in the desert. Uh, and many observers think that it's possible a guerrilla war uh, may result uh, in the desert there after that. There is also uh, an increased involvement from other countries. Um, an ECOWAS force um, of West African troops, uh, are, uh, about 7,500 of them, are coming into Mali to take over some garrison duties and steadily take over the fighting role uh, from the French. Uh, there's also been uh, talk in Brussels of EU troops being sent to train uh, some of the local soldiers. And the UK has announced it's going to send a small force, uh, but then other soldiers also to protect those, uh, those troops sent to train uh, local soldiers as well. And the U.S. was already involved as well, weren't they, Tom? It was. It was, absolutely. Uh, so far, the U.S. has been sending um, aerial support. Uh, it's been sending transport planes, refueling planes. It seems now, though, um, it's reported that um, the U.S. may be in negotiations with Niger uh, next to Mali over the possibility of, of a drone base there. Uh, and those drones uh, flying from near the border with Mali could take part uh, in these operations to try and hunt out uh, Islamist militants uh, there. There's also been talk of, uh, of a U.S. base uh, down in Burkina Faso uh, to the south of, of Mali. Uh, the details of that not really clear at the moment. It is worth noting, though, uh, that Niger is very rich uh, in natural resources, oil, gold, uranium. And a lot of those exports go to France and the U.S. So we have talk of drones, a U.S. base. How far could this possibly spread? question on many people's lips as the, as the first phase of this operation winds up, where are these militants going to go? Where is the violence going to go? And it has been noted uh, that in Nigeria, uh, to the south of, of Niger, um, the French oil company Total has evacuated some of its staff there. One of its staff uh, was, uh, um, was kidnapped. Uh, by militants who have stated they are going to carry out a campaign of terror in Nigeria as a, a response to this French intervention in, in Mali and that French citizens there, uh, the French government has said, should leave uh, the country, raising the fears that uh, around the region this fighting, as the militants are pushed out of the strongholds they've been in, they could scatter all over the place and spread violence with them. All right, it might be a fair argument then to say that the French might be getting a little bit ahead of themselves by claiming this has been a successful mission. We, of course, will continue to track the campaign. Tom Barton, thanks for that update.